Now time for Real Men Wear Gowns, where we put a light on health issues that are often overlooked in men. Today, a man who developed a painkiller dependency after multiple medical procedures and the long road to break the addiction. Brad Bender is no stranger to surgery. He figures he's had between 70 and 80. It all started in 2012 when he was diagnosed with pancreatitis. For the next five years, Brad was on a roller coaster ride of hospital visits, surgeries, and pain meds. In 2014, he was taking both fentanyl and oxycodone. There were several times, you know, when I, I felt like this is a problem that I need to work on. At times when Brad went to get his meds, he felt he was being treated like a junkie. All this time there was reasons for I, I needed to continue to take the, the, the pain meds. I mean, it was getting me through uh, all of the, the stuff that I was going through. When the pain lessened, he even tried to reduce the amount of pills he was taking. If you feel like you are addicted to opioids, it's, it's, you should not try to do it yourself. Dr. Ann Pilkis is medical director of substance use disorders at Health Partners. She works tirelessly to help people break their dependency. There has to be a management strategy as we're coming down on the pills. It took about a year and a half to get Brad off fentanyl. Then he shook oxycodone. Really what we do is, is we wean them very slowly. The length of time depends on their dose, depends on their age, depends on their risk. He still takes a milder form of painkiller, but it doesn't have a lingering effect. I could start uh, reading again. I could get into you know, my other interests again, and uh, it's been uh, really wonderful. Brad is very thankful he found health partners because it was difficult to find a treatment center that really understood what he was dealing with and had the right team of doctors to find a solution.